Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and updates. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about and breaking down the recent Lonzo Ball injury update that just came out from the Chicago Bulls. Also, talking about who's going to be the Bulls' starting point guard to start the NBA season, and also talking about a potential trade target for the Chicago Bulls. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and helps me out a lot. And some comments and questions below today's video about all the news and updates I'm about to jump into, especially the Lonzo Ball update. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on that whole situation. But no matter what, let's just jump right into today's video because just yesterday, the Chicago Bulls did put out an official update surrounding Lonzo Ball. And they did say Lonzo Ball will undergo another surgery on his left knee Wednesday, September 28th in LA. And then after four to six weeks, he will be checked out and see if he's able to return to the basketball court. Let me first off just say this is awful, but this is kind of what I feel like most Bulls fans felt like was going to happen. I mean, Lonzo Ball's initial injury, his whole timeline, was supposed to be anywhere from like four to six weeks i believe or maybe it was six to eight and at this point it's been like four to eight months now and he, you know there's been many reports of him slowly getting better but not at the rate that the bulls front office would be happy with so sure this update definitely sucks you know lonzo having another surgery on his knee is definitely not great news but at least the chicago bulls finally put out an update and a timeline on him because this whole situation has been a complete mess there's been little updates here and there i mean hopefully this is the last knee surgery Lonzo has to have but who truly knows I'm just happy that the Bulls at least have a solution and at least kind of a time frame right now I mean it does suck that the Bulls waited this long for Lonzo to have surgery I mean I'm sure they were trying to push it off as long as possible because this man has already had two to three maybe even four knee surgeries on that one knee it's definitely not a great thing to hear I mean it does suck I wish they could have just got this done right after the NBA playoffs that obviously would would have been the best move but i don't know man it definitely sucks definitely leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video like i said it sucks but at least there's a timeline and hopefully lonzo can just play again in this upcoming season that's the hope at least and also i want to make it clear he's not expected to return in four to six weeks he's just expected to get checked out and then the bulls front office and lonzo will go from there and a huge shout out to daniel greenberg he was talking to a doctor a sports injury specialist and he told him that it's more than likely going to take longer than six weeks for Lonzo Ball to return to the basketball court and that definitely sucks but that is kind of expected I mean look at the last knee surgery and look how long it took he had to get another surgery he couldn't ramp up so yeah I'm expecting much longer than six weeks honestly but hopefully everything goes right I mean the doctor did continue and he said you can't rush him back and risk it being bothered again and I do agree I just hope Lonzo can play at least sometime this NBA season it's definitely a whole scary situation leave some comments and questions below today's video about this quick little injury update. And of course, speaking about this Lonzo Ball injury update, the next question is who's going to be the Bulls starting point guard to start the regular season? And obviously, this Bulls roster is very guard heavy. Obviously, they did sign Goran Dragic this past offseason and draft Dale and Terry, kind of preparing for this Lonzo Ball injury in my eyes. And the Lonzo Ball surgery news is definitely very rough as a Bulls fan, but one hopeful silver lining is that Io will really take advantage of this opportunity and make another leap forward, and I do expect that from Io. I made a video a few weeks back of Io. He put on a lot of muscle. He's been in the gym all offseason long, and I'm expecting him to take another jump forward. And as of right now, my bet is on Io starting for the Bulls to start the regular season. Definitely leave some comments below to this video who you guys want the Bulls starting point guard to be. Let me just first off say the Bulls have a lot of great options at the point guard position. You know, Drogic, I could see him starting as well, but at the end of the day, I believe Drogic's best coming off the Bulls bench, bringing some just veteran leadership running the offense off the bench and he can score a little bit I don't really see Kobe White being the Bulls starting point guard. He's more of a two guard and I feel like him and Dragic coming off the bench would be nice. I mean the Bulls still have Caruso but he's really not a true point guard and he's one of the Bulls best players and he's also coming off injury last year. So I'd rather Caruso be the Bulls six man with Kobe or Dragic. I don't know. The Bulls have so many guards. They're going to be running some pretty small lineups. As of right now I'm really expecting Io to be the Bulls starting point guard. I mean he started 40 of 77 games last season as a rookie and he played pretty solid in most 
those games. Obviously, he was a rookie. He had some up and downs, but I do expect Io to take another step forward in this upcoming year. I mean, even if the Bulls do run Drogic at the starting point guard, I'd be happy with that. He played really well overseas. The only problem is, you know, Drogic is obviously getting up there in age, and I remember he did talk to the media after one of the overseas games. You know, he is 36. He said his legs aren't what they used to be, and who truly knows how much Drogic still has left in the tank. So um, as of right now, I'm betting my money on Io. Leave your thoughts and opinions and who you guys want the Bulls to start at the point guard position below today's video. And the final topic in today's video is about a potential Chicago Bulls trade target. And the other day, Brian Windshorst, he was on ESPN, and he did report saying that Jay Crowder is currently available on the market right now. You know, there's a lot of drama and nasty things going on with the Phoenix Suns front office or ownership, I believe. And with Jay Crowder currently being shopped, I'm definitely interested as a Bulls fan. I've seen a lot of Bulls fans on Twitter and Facebook really wanting the Bulls to trade for him, and I agree 100%. He's that perfect small forward or even power forward, you know, if the Bulls run a small lineup that could really fit well next to Vooch, and he's a very good 3 and D type player. You know, he is 32 years old, and on his career, he's always been a very good three-point shooter. I mean, on his career, he's a 35% three-point shooter, and he's also got that dog in him. He's just a very good veteran that I feel like would fit well on this roster. I mean, this article came out about a month ago from Fansided, and they said Jay Crowder could be a sneaky good trade target for the Chicago Bulls. Definitely leave your thoughts and opinions below today's video about this i would really like jay crowder on this roster you know he could play the small forward position come off the bulls bench play some good defense hit a few threes and just be a good veteran for this young bulls team i think most bulls fans tend to forget other than vooch and demar Derozan, this bulls team is very young still and i'd say goran dragic i'd throw him in there i don't know i'd definitely be interested in good jay crowder if the bulls do make a call to the phoenix suns i hope so I don't know. I don't really see the Bulls making any trades right now. It really just depends how this season plans out. You know, with the Lonzo injury, a bunch of question marks up in the air, how good this Bulls team can be at their peak, and especially with all the injuries. I don't know. We'll just see at the NBA trade deadline where this Bulls team is, and then I'll probably have a video out around the trade deadline talking about that and recapping the season. So definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video if you guys want the Chicago Bulls to target Jay Crowder. I really like his game. I really like his fit on this Bulls roster. I just don't see the Bulls making any moves or trades right now with training camp right around the corner. Definitely leave some more questions and comments below today's video about the whole Lonzo Ball situation. Like I said, it sucks, but at least we have a timeline and at least a time frame surrounding Lonzo. Hopefully he's back sooner rather than later, but at the same time i hope the bulls don't rush him also leave some comments below today's video about who you guys expect and want the bulls starting point guard to be thank you guys for watching today's video have a good one